Well, we've got a battle of uh, one in three teams tonight, folks. Teams that need to start shifting it into a higher gear if they're going to have a chance of moving in uh, to the playoffs. To get in that top four, that's what they need to do. They've got to have a top four finish uh, to move into that next stage of the competition, of course. It's a very long regular season. Already today, Pauk have won impressively at Opava in the Czech Republic, 94-69 in Group B. Telecom Basket spawn against Venezia right now. Holon at Tenerife, and of course this one here, Fribourg at Nanterre. And you have to wonder, uh, after tonight's play, uh, if the, the loser of this game will, will be able to come back and recover. I, I think most people, most objective people, would say uh, Nanterre, perhaps, and Pauk of the one and three teams coming in uh, to this game day five have the best chance of getting into that top four. But as you look at the standings, you figure Tenerife, the former champions up high, Venezia, they're at three and one. Holon also playing well. So really not that much room for error for these two teams uh, that are in action tonight. Uh, Freeborg, of course, what a story they are coming through the qualifying rounds. Not just the third qualifying round, not just the second and third qualifying round, but all three qualifying rounds. What a great story for Swiss basketball. Freeborg uh, coach uh, Petar Alexic. Uh, well, you got to look at the bigs, Babacar Toure, Andre Williamson, uh, Chad Timberlake as well. Uh, the guard uh, and a very important player, Justin Robertson. Uh, this is not a team that is going to kill you from three point range. If, if they beat, if they win that game tonight by with their three point shooting, Nunter are going to be like, we did not see that on the game tape. How did they do it? Uh, but it's a team that, that certainly utilizes its bigs well. And Nanterre, who traditionally have had some bigs uh, that have played the ball, played the game very well in dominant fashion. Uh, they will have to come out tonight and try to neutralize those bigs of Freeborg and come out and get a win in front of the home crowd. Freeborg, uh, we've looked at their roster now in Nanterre. Uh, their coach, Pascal Donadieu. Uh, Treadwell, Adas, Miskevich, uh, number three, Konate, Gamble, Inverniszi, Waters, Paulson, Karn, uh, Jean-Marc Panza, and Jeremy Senglon. Well, Freeborg, uh, their player is being introduced to the crowd here tonight. Uh, just looking back at their qualifying campaign, they they, they drew 89-89 at home in the first leg in their first qualifying game against Aptidor Saratov. And then they hit the road and they won the second leg in Russia 78-76. So they got through that one by the skin of their teeth. Then in the second qualifying round, they won in Holland at Donor Groningen 72-67. But then uh, at home, they only won 79-77. So Donor Groningen were right in that one with them. And then, of course, against Sakarya BSB, uh, Freiburg won the first leg 87-85. And then in Turkey, uh, then they had their most impressive performance, winning 76-52. So they made it into this uh, regular season. Uh, and after getting blown out in week one at Unet Holon, uh, they came out and they got a big 97-79 win over Opava uh, before falling hard at the Berestar Tenerife, 91-68. And then, of course, last year at home, uh, they, they lost a the game they really needed to win. Uh, you know, losing it to Telecom Baskets, Bond, uh, 79. They only scored 79 points. They, they were outscored 83 to 79. That was a close one. So they need to, to try to get a win on the road tonight and then to go to Pauk to get a win in Greece. You play in the Basketball Champions League, nothing's supposed to come easy anyway. They'll know that. Uh, and certainly uh, they have the great example to follow from MSP Rees and Lewisburg from last season who made it through three qualifying rounds and then reached the final four. So anything is possible, but a lot of work to do for them, as well as for this Nanterre team who, you know, 
what a great success story they've been over the years, over the last several years, kind of uh, rising uh, from anonymity uh, to being one of the the main one of the main teams in France, and uh, would like nothing more than to to get up the. Get off to a good start tonight, get a win, and get on a roll, and come out and try to try to win the basketball Champions League. You know, the winners of this competition have been a very start Tenerife in year one, and then of course last year Ike winning it at home in Athens. So this is year three of the basketball Champions League, and four eight-team groups, so 32 teams in the regular season, and a lot of work to do for any team that has any uh, aspirations of going all the way. Well, folks, if you want to follow all the latest information on the Basketball Champions League, go to www.championsleague.basketball. The referees tonight, Fernando Calatrava, Yasmina Yoris from Serbia, and Goran Slivjic from uh, Austria. Calatrava from Spain. So the starting five uh, for Freeborg tonight will be Timberlake and Lajan, Gravit, Robertson, and Toure. So they're not going uh, with the Twin Tower start tonight. Only Toure in that starting five. And Alexic is the coach of Freeborg. You get the feeling at least looking on the outside that there shouldn't be a huge amount of pressure on Freeborg because let's face it folks they had to make it through the three qualifying rounds uh, but once you get into the regular season uh, you want to come out and you want to play your best and they have been able to get that one win but they they you know you never know I mean they're a good team they're just they have some weaknesses uh, you scavenge uh, the point guard uh, Jeremy Singlon uh, Conate, Paulson, and Gamble. Paulson, remember, plays for that Icelandic national team that will not be at the World Cup because they have not uh, advanced to the second round. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, a very good player for Pascal Donadu. And the most important player, possibly, well, I don't know, you have to think that he probably. Uh, as the floor general needs to run the show tonight. Okay. 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 Sinon, joue classique. Come up, zero. Most up. Second, 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 Chad. Second session. Let's run zero. Side to side. Move a bit more. Hand off on Austria. Good. Third one. Okay, we're about ready to start things off, folks, here in Nanterre, France. It's game day five of the Basketball Champions League. It's two one and three teams are getting ready uh, to get after it. Gamble there and silent meditation and prayer before this game. And some fans have uh, traveled from Switzerland for tonight's game. Konate getting uh, the embrace before he walks out to the court. Gamble and Paulson.
seconds away here from the opening tip here in Nanterre, the basketball champions league game between Nanterre and Freeboard Olympic. Well, good evening, folks. If you're just tuning in, this is the Basketball Champions League, and it's Nanterre taking on Freeborg here on game day five. And Powelson comes out and shows his range immediately. And it certainly isn't the strength of this Freeborg team, but it is of that player right there. Now the turnover and a chance to run for Konate. Lao Konate hands it off to Yaskavishis. Yaskavishis pulls up from deep. Paulson came into this game having hit 10 of 16 shots from three point range, so he's got his first of the night. Timberlake. Over the grab it inside the Torre and goes up with a little bit of thunder on that. That's the strength. Get it to the bigs down low and let them go to work. Singlin down low. Gamble. Well, makes that one look easy. Toure takes the bump and lays it up and in. Well, Julian Gamble's got his uh, work cut out tonight uh, to contend with Babacar Toure. Already made the team of the week once this season. 32 years of age, Toure. He's got four points. Konate puts it on the deck, gets in, misses, but Gamble answers. Gamble also off to a good start. Freeborg in no rush. Timberlake pulls up, or Robertson pulls up, misses, and Toure tried to keep it alive, and the ball goes back over to Nanterre. Singlin pulls up another jump shot. Legend hands it off to Toure. Oh, fakes the jumper and passes out. Not sure what was going over there in the corner. And Lajan. And Torrey kept it alive. Now Singlin has it. Konate. And Gamble was in there challenging for the rebound. And I think Torrey fouled him. Entry pass and the ball stolen by Toure. And the follow is good from Timberlake. Scavishes misses. Now up ahead. And Timberlake catches it and scores. Nice response from Freeboard. Good look ahead by Gravit. From Paul Gravit. 
Robertson called for the foul. Singlin fouled just as he got to midcourt by Robertson. Good work from Babacar, Babacar Toure, uh, who heads to the bench for his first breather. And Williamson checks in for him, and now there's a foul on the perimeter on Gravit. Bumping Paulson as he dribbled to his left. Singlin into the corner to Yaskavishis. Paulson again. Front and back of the rim stays out. Now quick pass. Freeborg try to get a cheap one. Lagin. Turns. Oh, was able to get rid of it just in time to Williamson. Well, it wasn't pretty, but it was effective. I mean, you know what? If you want to get the high percentage shot, they're getting it. Grab it. I think call for his second foul, so that's a blow already, and Paulson might have uh, committed a foul there with the reach that wasn't seen, but nevertheless, they've scored. It's our Lexich calling the plays. Look at the Swiss fans over there getting into it. They didn't travel to France to watch Freeboard go down. They want to see what would have to be viewed as an upset, I think. Although, to be fair, again, we talk about it. This team has been through the wars in the qualifying rounds. They've had a, a tough start. Perhaps at one and three, and that was an awful attempt. Yurkovic also into the game now for Gravit. Now the bounce pass to Yurkovic, uh, and this time a bump. Another foul called on Paulson. So Williamson proving to be uh, quite a handful in there. Oh, so that's only his first foul. I thought he already had one. Excuse me. So Williamson makes the first. Freeborg out in front. And Williamson makes both. Well, Alexic uh, sits down and is going to stand back up. Invernizzi as well is in the game now. Hugo Invernizzi. And Singlin drives in, is bumped by Robertson. So Singlin at the line makes the first one. Bends his knees and drills it. Interesting uh, looking at the power rankings. If you look at the Champions League basketball website for all 32 teams in the basketball Champions League regular season, Singlin makes the second to get it to with a one point. And Nanterre are number 14, even though they're one and three in the basketball Champions League, but they, of course, uh, take into consideration also uh, the domestic league results. And Lajan drills it off the backboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
jump shot off target by Nanterre's number 11, Dominic Waters. And now the drive and the basket is good. Second straight from Imlagin. Well, this Freeborg team is uh, not one that can be taken lightly, that's for sure. They do, if you let them do what they want to do offensively, get some good looks, anything is possible, see if they can lock down on defense. You go in for Nizzi, the three-pointer. Legend for three. Well, it's not their strength. Doesn't mean they're not going to attempt them. Senglin. Another three for Nanterre, and they've tied it at 17. And Senglin says, yeah, there's more where that came from. Look at this. He's well behind the arc. Go down to the bench. Freeborg have called timeout. Oh! We can roll! We are all far! We are far! We are zoning! To the three point shooting, three of seven for Nanterre. Seven of eight inside the arc for Freeborg. Switch this communicate! Second thing, only pick the enemy, right? It is almost range of shot. Over. Also the rebounding. Freeboard doing a decent job there in that department. Alexic used to actually coach the uh, Swiss national team. They uh, famously beat Russia during the uh, qualifying campaign for the Eurobasket 2015 that was held, well, one of the countries, France anyway. Look at it inside. Jolman puts it up off the front of the rim. And here's uh, Toure. Oh, held his ground. Nanterre bit on the pump fake and committed the foul. Toure, I mean, I tell you, there's not much stopping him. Might have gotten away with a charge there. Kind of lowered his shoulder. I think that was Williamson. In any event, they're letting him play, and Panza goes out. Free throw is good. So Freeborg go back in front by three. Singlin. Dribbles between his legs, explodes, and puts it up off the glass and in. Again. Oh, takes the contact and scores. Goodness me. This man playing the role of Superman tonight, taking on everybody. He is off to an electric start. Look at this. No doubt about it as well. He was fouled. How important is he? Well, he's got nine of his team's 22 points already. Hey. 
bends his knees and sure enough makes the shot. He played for Senegal at Afro Basket 2011 when they finished fifth. That's some decent numbers, seven, just over seven points and 5.4 rebounds per game at that tournament. Here's Babacar Toure. And that's a foul that he does not want to give away. That far away from the basket, not only do you pick up a foul, but you put Singlin on the line. Although it doesn't punish him. Makes one of two. So Toure, uh, with that foul, comes out of the game. And the drive, and Jokovic misses. So two fouls for Toure, and now the alley-oop. No good, now Jolman comes back. So, again, that's another reason why you don't commit that foul so far away from the basket. You, you, get, you get yourself pulled out of the game. Williamson. Oh, nice stroke from Andre Williamson. Waters. And fouled while attempting the three point shot was Invernizzi. Mariamba guilty of the foul. Gotta know when you're running at that player, especially that far out. It's already a tough enough shot to make from three point range, and Invernizzi. Uh, now misses the first of his two free throws. Second one is good. And he makes two of three. And it goes. And another opportunity here at the line. So, Florian Steinman at the line. These are the areas where Freeborg need to be successful tonight. Got to take care of business at the line. Diamond makes one of two. They came in shooting 71.8% at the free throw line. So final 28 seconds of this uh, first quarter. Freeborg holding their own. They've already got 26 points. Dominic Waters looking like he's going to launch a three over there. You can see him uh, getting ready. Singlin now passes it down low. And Vernizzi wide open. Still a little bit of time here for the team from Switzerland. Freeborg and Steinman puts it up. So that's how the first frame finishes. Monterey have got some work to do. They trail 26 to 22 to Freeborg Olympic. See the early shooting numbers there. 0 of 4 from deep for Freeborg, 3 of 8 for Nanterre. But it's inside the arc 
in that low post area, especially with the likes of Babacar Toure, which have given uh, Freeborg that excellent start uh, in the paint. They're 10 of 14 inside the arc. Well, leading the way so far for Nanterre, Singlin has 10 points. He's three of three from the floor, three of four from the from the line. He's got a couple of assists. And for Freeborg, it's Babacar Toure, who has a game high 10 point or yeah, game high 10 points and three rebounds, already at plus 13 efficiency. Andre Williamson. Six points, so we talked about their bigs, and sure enough, they've got 16 of their 26 points. They are a combined six of seven from the floor. So second quarter action underway here in Nanterre, France. It's the Basketball Champions League clash between Nanterre and Fribourg, Olympic. Freeborg, driven to the left, Jolman, over to Madiamba. Jolman puts up one from deep. He brought some rain, but there's an air ball, went out of bounds, so Steinman, even though he rebounded it, is gonna go back over to Nanterre. Pointer, another one. Greninzi. Williamson puts it up from the baseline. Good rebound from Yurkovitz. Time Yurkovitz. Now Jalman gets it inside to Williamson. Wanted to put it up quickly. Montero can reclaim the lead here with the basket. Konate drives in, misses, and Williamson skies for the rebound. Now he's going to push it himself. Can he get it back to Jalman? Who passes it up, has the ball knocked out of his hands. It's on Yurkovitz. Now Steinman puts it up and takes a little bit of contact on the right leg. Treadwell guilty of the foul. So what comes around goes around. And Vernizzi was fouled while attempting the three. And Steinman fouled this time. Be wrong, but it looked like maybe he uh, was trying to draw that foul, sticking his right leg out there. So Steinman makes the first. Second one as well. Steinman came into this shooting at a 91.7 clip at the free throw line. So he is definitely a player you'd like to see at the charity drive. I mean, he's got such a nice stroke at the free throw line. He came in having hit 11 of his 12 free throws, so now he's 14 of 15 on the season. And the way he takes it, you know what's going in. I mean, it's a shock if he doesn't score. Invernizzi now with a three. Another one. It's back to a one-point game just like that. Invernizzi providing the offense. 11 points already.
Steinman. Legend. Oh, great move. Didn't finish. Treadwell with the rebound. Konate. Now back out to Waters. And Goldman aware that he was about to be. Jonah aware he was about to get posted up there, so he committed the foul. Probably not a bad foul in the grand scheme of things. So Jonah goes out. Good minutes from him. Another three for Nanterre and Invernizzi. If you didn't know it, folks, he can shoot it from deep. Four, five. He's at four or five from three-point range, and we're just 13 minutes into the game. Oh, nice spin move. Oh, the swap. Treadwell rejects it. Now you scavish us. Appealing for the three-pointer. Excuse me for the uh, appealing for the unsportsmanlike. And Alexic calls timeout, seeing uh, all of a sudden the wind in the sails of this Nanterre team. of 11 from three-point range for Nanterre. And uh, that's 18 points. Freeboard have not hit a three. Which is interesting when you consider that Steinman was taking the three and was fouled in the act, and he went to the line to make three free throws. Now, coming into the season, Steinman hit one of five from three-point range, so nobody really in that team uh, had demonstrated having shot 12 of 57 as a team from three-point range tonight, Freeborg. So they are at a distinct disadvantage when you consider how Inverdizzi has come out and shot the ball tonight. He has shot lights out from deep. Miscavish this over to Inverdizzi again. Well, living dangerously, Freeborg gave it up, and Inverdizzi was off target. Remember, Toure, uh, Toure has the two fouls already. And now Gamble comes back into the game. Gamble comes from my neck of the woods, North Carolina, Durham. Durham, North Carolina, home of uh, Duke University. He played at Miami in the Atlantic Coast Conference, a rival of the Blue Devils. And another foul call, this one on Invernizzi. And Turi gets it, boy, they're double teaming him. So the message is out. Swarm Turi, Babacor Turi, when he's got the ball inside. Here he is again, trying to post up. Oh, the rare three-pointer is good from Jurkovic. Well, Natan Jurkovic had come in having hit one of five from deep, and that one three-pointer has put Freeborg back in front. Waters.
Robertson, oh, another three, back-to-back -back threes. They'd only hit 12 all season, and now they've hit two in the last 25 seconds. And he looked good on that release. Both of those were taken with confidence. Robertson's first three-pointer of the season. He had been 0 of 6 before that one. Hugo ici, quand la balle est là, transfert. Jérémy ici, transfert. Ok, Hugo, corner. Julian, pick and roll. Ok, on annonce zone. Hey, ils sont en zone. Henri, Henri. Three point shooting, you can see how big of a factor it is, but now two have gone in for freeboard. And maybe, who knows, maybe that will loosen things up a little bit. Could be that Monte are going to try to call their bluff. No, that's a smart parent right there. Put the old earmuffs on the baby's head. Good night. Don't want to damage the hearing at this age. Singlin over to Paulson into the corner to Invernizzi. Back over to Yaskavishis. He drills the three pointer. Monter are smoking hot from three-point range tonight. They come into this game shooting 38.7%. They'd hit three times as many threes as this Freeborg team. And good move down low from Yurkovic. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Why did you call the foul? I'm just standing there. Not, not quite. They're your, that was a Yaskavicius drilling the three. Infernizzi clearly had his left arm into the midsection of Yurkovic. And he makes the first one. Boy, I tell you what, they are living right tonight. Jurkovic had hit five of 14 at the free throw line before tonight, and there he just makes two in a row. Julian Gamble goes to work and scores down low. Goes right at Toure. And I tell you, Torre flirting with his third foul there. And Lajan looking to make the killer bounce pass. It wasn't there. Four and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Jurkovic. Torre, can he do it from deep? Yes, he can. This Freeborg team has fooled me completely. They've hit three three pointers in the last minute and a half. Certainly belying their statistics coming into this game. Torre is on fire right now, but Singlin comes back and brings a little bit of rain himself. Boy, Nanterre are just throwing him in from deep tonight. And Lajan now banks it in. Nanterre are losing this game despite having hit 8 of 14 from three-point range. Singlin, another three. And Torre skies for it. Now he's going to bring it up the floor. Gets it over to Timberlake. Timberlake flies in. Tried to bank one in. Kind of wonder who the game favors if it gets a little crazy. Paulson, another three, tied at 42. Robertson back over to Babacar Toure. Discavish is almost coming up with a steal. 
And Mladzen back over to Torre, same spot, same, no, not the same result. It went in and came out. And Yurkovic got the rebound. Hands it back to Mladzen for three. Good! This is incredible. Four first half three pointers. In fact, four second quarter three pointers for Freeboard. Discavis just another three. And Toure with the rebound. Instead of looking for the outlet, he takes it himself. Robertson, beautiful bounce pass. What a play. Finished by number 88, Chad Timberlake. And really, folks, that was a lot of that. Oh, beautiful bounce pass. I was going to say a lot of that was Babacar Toure because he, he got the rebound and ran. But you got to give props to Robertson. Goodness me, Freeborg playing some good basketball. Look at the steals, one apiece. Well, you get four of ten from Freeborg all in this quarter. Nanter nine of seventeen from deep. So coming up on the two minute mark here in the first half and Freeburg Olympic up 47 42 gamble. Julian gamble tries to spin. Gets inside passes it back outside to Invernizzi. Now you scavishes Paulson back to you scavishes shot clock winding down gamble can't rebound it but I think he was fouled by Yurkovic. Natan Jurkovic, his second foul. I think he probably clipped him on the head a little bit on his follow through. So Natan Jurkovic has really sparked this team, and Peter Alexic says, Good job, Natan. I'm going to put Gravit back in now. See if they can gravitate around him. And Gamble with the move follows, can't get it back. Legend was one of those four three pointers tonight. Gets it to Gravit. Good move work from Gravit. Gets it to Williamson. Misses and then follows Gravit. Terrific play. He says, I want some of this. And a seven point lead for Freeborg, their biggest lead of the game. Singlin drives in. Got a little hang time. Nobody boxed out Gamble. Freeboard guilty of ball watching. One minute to go here in the first half. Robertson over to Gravit into Williamson. Williamson, little jump hook. Good play, Robertson, to chase down that rebound. And then a little bit of good fortune there because uh, Timberlake lost it. Now he's got it back. No look inside to Williamson. And Williamson hoping a foul is going to be called. And boy, that's close to an unsportsmanlike. Was he playing the ball? Looked like he was going to go for the ball. Then he kind of went for the midsection. In the gamble. Well, he's just kind of taking over now offensively for Nanterre.
10 points for Gamble. And Lajan for three. The scavishes. He's got to launch it. Oh, he waited too long. If I remember correctly, the scavishes buried one. Unless I'm thinking of Lex Vicious, anyway, from half court at the Eurobasket. But nevertheless, uh, Freeborg lead it 49 to 46 at Nanterre 92 at halftime. Those are the numbers, the nine threes for Nanterre. Well, they are just uh, impressive from deep, but it's uh, the rebounding, uh, which has really helped Freeborg stay in this game. You can see they're, they're winning that battle. And Invernizzi, of course, came out and hit four three-pointers. He's got 14 points, Toure as well, leading the way for his team with 13 points. Singlin with 13 points, Gamble with 10. Mm, La Jad, mm, let's see, and we're gonna look at the halftime highlights here in just a second. And Lajan has the, the 10 points for uh, Freeborg Olympics. So they've shortened the game and they're leading by three points Freeborg in this battle of one and three teams. Paulson again showing us what he's got. So all to play for here in Nanterre at halftime. Uh, we'll be right back.
Vous avez la chance, monsieur.
49-46 Fribourg Olympic on top of Nanterre 92 here in France and well you know from uh, a plus side for this Fribourg team you would have to think that Nanterre would not continue to throw into three pointers the way that they have in this game so far I mean they have been electric uh, from downtown tonight shooting uh, the ball from deep at 50%, 9 of 18. I mean, it's not to say that they won't get some more threes, but Vernizzi's 4 of 6, Paulson's 2 of 3, Singlin 2 of 3, Gascavish is uh, just 1 of 5. Um, you know, and if, if, if those threes do not fall, and if this Freeborg team continue to rebound the ball as well as they have, You know, they've got a chance to get a win on the road here. And I, I don't think there's any doubt about it. Uh, Coach Donadu is, is telling his guys, we need to raise our game tonight, fellas. Contact, started off the regular season with a 24 to 24 point defeat at Unet Halong. They came back and they won the next week by 18 at home over Opava. Uh, and then they were blown out in a Veristar Tenerife, 91-68. That's probably not too surprising. Veristar Tenerife blowing a lot of people out these days. Uh, and then they lost that heartbreaker last week at home to Telecom Baskets Bond, 83-79. So they could very easily be a 2-2 two and, two and going for a 3-2 and two record. So this is a free a Freeborg team that uh, clearly cannot be taken uh, lightly at all. Nanterre, meanwhile, they lost a the heartbreaker last week with that late game-winning free throw by Pauk, 83-82, or else they would be 2-2 two and two coming into this game going for a 3-2 and two record. So as it is, you got two 1-3 teams squaring off here in France. Scavish has almost uh, lost it out of bounds there. Now Singlin's got it. Konate, shot clock winding down. Now Gamble going right at Torrey. He's got the two fouls. Torrey held his ground, but he couldn't get the rebound. But then he got the block. Gamble gets his back and puts it up and in. He just stuck with it. And Gamble, well, it's not really a gamble if you're Nanterre to get the ball to Gamble. Because he scores more times than not. Robertson, nice gamble in his way. And the pass in, uh, inside, and uh, Konate comes up with the ball. Paulson pulls up on the break and just continues to throw in the three balls. So Nanterre now lead at 51 49. Oh, Robertson got free and scores down low the layup. The scavenges good. Left wide open. Well, I asked the question and expressed the doubt that they would continue to shoot as well from three point range, and all they've done is come out and hit two in the first minute and a half. Now Toure bricks one up. Jurkovic gets the rebound. Hands it off to Timberlake. Back to Babacar Toure, and he is fouled by Gamble. Here's your scavages. He was one of five from deep in the first half. And now he comes out and makes his first. That was Robertson with his layup.
Uh, Freeborg get it back to 54 53. Singlin. And Konate scores. Zierka has hit that jump shot at the other end. But Nonter come right back and go back in front by three. Now Robertson thinks he can take Singlin. Goes up. Tried to bank it in and is able to knock it away. And then Yurkovic, or no, it was Timberlake, saved it in bounds to Nanterre. Paulson wide open. Boy, that Icelandic boy can shoot it. Goodness me. He's not missing. I told you. So Freeboard called timeout. Paulson now four of five from three point range. You give up physically. You are stop working. You are stop working on the floor. You put the ball in, nothing in, but do motion, then ball in. Second thing, but do regular shots. What are you fucking doing? How many fouls you did? How many fouls you did? What I'm telling you now here. What I'm telling you. You play your basketball. Well, Alexic challenging him on the effort department, you can hear, and also saying, commit the foul if you have to. You see the rebounding. That advantage uh, has been cut. And Nanterre, right now, I believe that is their biggest lead of the game, six points. It is indeed. So, Natan Jurkovic is going to inbound the ball. To grab it. And he's going to hand it off to Robertson. Toure pumps, fakes, drives in, gets swatted. Grab it. He gets blocked by Gamble. And now the foul into the corner. Paulson. It's really interesting how these Icelandic players uh, have kind of elevated their or raised their profile, elevated their profile with their national team. I guarantee you, the, you know, one of the reasons why Paulson has found himself in this Nanterre team is because he's played so well for his country. And he's showing it tonight as well. 12 points. And he's out there hustling. Singlin and Gamble challenged the offensive glass that time. Unsuccessfully. Matan Yurkovic going hard against Konate. And now Yuskavishis commits his uh, first foul tonight. Legend with the shot clock winding down and he hits a three pointer. Well, clearly their best three point shooting performance of the season tonight. That was a big three. Now they got to play some defense. Singlin has it. Five on the shot clock. Paulson. And he takes the foul when he goes up and will go to the line. And the reason why Alexic is mad at Robertson is because he got the foul on the reach. <laughs> Look at that. Tough luck. Alexic saying you don't need to reach and put him on the line. You're just giving him two points. One man from Bosnia Herzegovina, the other from America. Tempers run high 
because both of them want to win so badly. And Robertson just has to channel it in the right way, as well as Alexic. He has to understand how badly his coach wants to win this game tonight. Oh, and Lajan has come down and hit a couple of big shots in a row now. Right over Gamble, too. Now Williamson called for the foul on Gamble. Gamble's come out to play in the second half. Yeah, that's a tough call on Williamson. You can see Gamble is uh, trying to post him up. Are they going to drop down and help out? He's going to go right at Yurkovic. Well, they seem to clearly uh, struggling to contain Gamble right now. Oh, yeah, he got him. Gamble's numbers just keep going up, up, and away. He had 14 against Opava in the first game. So he's close uh, to a season high tonight. He's got 13 right now. Grab it. I'm legend now. Well, a tough shot for him. Legend. He's feeling it though. But that was an awful, awfully difficult shot. Singlin passes up to Gamble. Alexis wanting to travel. Now he's trying to post up down low. Konate hands it off to Gamble. Good hands, uh, Natan Yurkovic. In fact, it was good hands from Williamson to knock it away. Waters. Waters. Oh, and nobody boxed out Gamble. Well, he's got a season high now. He's got 15 points. And then Williamson kind of fumbled it away. Six-point lead for Nanterre. Is this the quarter where they're going to take control? Gamble passes back out. Singlin. Singlin has to put up a difficult shot. Great defense from Freeboard. And Lajan. Now to grab it. It's going to go right at Paulson. Tries to hand it off to Williamson. Paulson, decent job defensively that time. Now off of Konate, who can't save it before it goes out of bounds. Freeborg teetering right now as Singlin goes out. Still no sign of Invernizzi here in the second half. Still on the bench. And we've got Waters out there with Konate Paulson. Gamble. And, and Karn as well. And now a rejection, but they get it back. Williamson puts up a three. Baba Couture gets it back. Offensive rebound, and he was fouled. 
Where Gamble's playing like an animal in this third quarter. It's been sensational. Look at that. Not in my house, he says. And Konate wrapped him up and committed the foul. Well, Paulson goes out and Inverniz comes in. Those two guys have had themselves quite a game when you consider their impact if you combine them. Jonan in the game and turns it over immediately. Well, makes a difficult pass. Vernizzi and Gamble. Oh, it gets rejected by Torre. Now Torre catches it. He beats Gamble down the line, and he was fouled by Karn. Another look. They want to see if it was an unsportsmanlike. Well, it could be. Yep, they're calling it unsportsmanlike, so that'll be two free throws and possession. So Touré at the line. So you could call it a break, I guess. But Torrey makes both free throws. Karn has the unsportsmanlike. And possession. So this could be a, a big moment here for Freeborg if they could get another basket. 12 minutes and 50 seconds to go in this game. John on. Dribbles between his back. Where is he going? Where is he going? And shot clock expired. Try, got into to no man's land there with nowhere to go. There's Karn. Got a gamble. Gamble is going to go right at Toure unsuccessfully, but gets it back. Where the rebounding has totally changed this half. Konate and Karn that time challenging on the boards. Legend. He's a playmaker. Here's Yurkovic. Um, good play, good rebound, and put back the score by Williamson. It's back to a two point game. Nobody boxed out Williamson. Waters. Invernizzi back to Karn. Waters fouled by Jean. -Arm. So that'll be two free throws for Dominique Waters. So Jordan takes a seat. Hey, down. Down. 
And Waters is at the line, makes the first one. So the five for Freeborg now is Imlajan, Steinman, Timberlake, Baba Carture, and Andre Williamson. So they got the two twin towers in there. Or the twin towers in there, not the two twin towers. Otherwise, you'd have four towers. And the lead goes back to four. Freeborg with five more assists than Nanterre. Here's Toure. Goes that gamble. He's going to pass it back. And Lajan. And with hustle from Nanterre to get to the ball. Alley -oop. Finished by Gamble. Seventeen points for Gamble now, eight of fourteen from the floor. Steinman. And then Lodgen almost turned it over. Shot clock winding down to get to Toure, but it's not gonna count. So Robertson back into the game. Could have been symptomatic there of not having the, the point guard on the floor. So Toure picks up the foul. Again, we're at that moment where Freeborg seemed to be teetering. Trailing by six. Four fouls now on Babacar Toure. Konate takes it up to their biggest lead of the game. Eight points. And Steinman fouled a long way from the basket by Konate. Goodness me. Well, if Steinman, if they could pick anybody to put on the free throw line, uh, Freeborg, that's who they would put. That is not a good play from Konate. But it it likely gives Nontier the last shot of the half or the quarter. I mean, I don't want to jinx him, but this guy just doesn't miss from the line. Look at this. He just takes it with so much confidence. Mariama comes in for Toure, who has the four fouls. Got it back to six. If they get a stop here, Freeboard, and go to the fourth quarter down six, they'll give him a little bit of a lift. Singlin, Invernizzi for three. Good! Well, if they're looking for a lift, they didn't get it. And Vernizzi, if there's one thing he can do, he can shoot the three. And that was the alley oop pass to Gamble. I mean, other than coming up with a steal on that pass or being right in his face. I'm not sure what else uh, Madiamba could have done there. Nanterre lead at 73-64, 10 minutes remaining. So 
And Konate and uh, Nanterre got the wind in their sails uh, for this third quarter where they've outscored Freeborg 27 to 15. So they will take a nine point lead into the fourth quarter. So I'm not sure what it is that they're looking at here. But they're going to look at the video replay. Well, they're looking at the maybe they're saying they only gave him one free throw and the unsportsmanlike foul when he should have had two. I'm not exactly sure what that. Oh, they're saying that. I'm not exactly sure what we're looking at here, folks. Apologies. I'm not sure. Maybe they're thinking they haven't given him all the points. So they were missing a point is what it was. So it should have been 73 65. And uh, good thing that Freeborg were keeping an eye on the score there. Timberlake comes in and takes the bump. Toure keeps it alive. Gets it back out. They've got to put it up. And they do. That ball hits off the rim. Treadwell back in the game as well. Conate, uh, nobody can pick it up for Freeborg. A little bit slow to the ball. Steinman, Robertson. And now Treadwell fouls Steinman. Kind of pushes him away. Not sure if he got him with the elbow in the chest in the midsection. Yeah, he was kind of setting the pick and then rolling. Quick pass to Toure. Andre Williamson follows. Couldn't get control of the ball. I'm not sure why Toure is in such a rush to get the ball off in that fashion. Because he could have tried to post up Invernizzi. Treadwell catches it down low and goes up strong.
Curry long jumper top of the key. Freeborg uh, starting to unravel. And the ball fumbles out of the hands of Dominic Waters. Steinman stopped by Konate, and the, nevertheless, Williamson goes in. Makes the shot and is fouled on the play. Great play by Williamson. Fouled by Treadwell, the former Akron Zip. This was the Akron Zip catching it and going it up strong. This play right here just about keeps Freeborg in it. They're down eight. Now they're down seven. Just felt it. I mean, obviously, it's not a huge deficit, but just the way the momentum of the game, just the rhythm of the game, they cannot afford to fall behind anymore. And with Gamble not in the game right now, this is this is their chance to kind of make their move. You, you got to expect Gamble to check back into the game at some point. So Freeborg need to make their move now because. When Gamble's in the game, it's an entirely different proposition. Robertson hands it off to Timberlake. Robertson over to Timberlake. Oh, wow. Fort, uh, fortune favors the brave. The ball batted over to Natalia Yurkovic. And now Freeborg get it back to within five. And how long will Nanterre go without Gamble on the floor? That's the question. Waters again. Rebound Steinman hands it over to Robertson. Quick pass inside and Jurgovic scores and forces Nanterre to call timeout. Quarter by quarter scoring. I just think they're a different team without Gamble. I really do. The way he played in the second half, he was the best player on the court. When he goes out, and especially with Freeborg having both uh, Baba Carture and Williamson out there, they're a different, you know, it's a, it's a different game. So Will Gamble check back in. So Tori is not going to be in the game now. Norris and Lajan. But I'm just curious to see what this lineup is for Nanterre. That was the unsportsmanlike foul. I'm not sure why we're seeing that again. Seventy-five, seventy-two. Treadwell goes down. So he was fouled. That's foul number three on Freeborg. But Treadwell's a hard worker. You can see it. Don Yurkovic, number four. He's had his moments of uh, really good play tonight. That time, Yurkovitz. It's all hands on deck right now for both of these teams. Konate. Oh, boy, that's a killer. If only because, okay, if there's one player you might give the three away to, it's him. And even he knocks it in for Nantier. Takes it back up to six points. The lead. 
Natan Yurkovic gets inside. Good defense from Invernizzi. Back to Waters. And Williamson with the rebound. And good drive by Steinman. You know, talking about Conate coming into this game, he was 4 of 14 from three point range. So if you're going to pick your poison, but you could also say the same about Inverness. He was 4 of 14 from three point range before tonight. And they've, he's made his threes. Now Robertson picks up the foul. Yeah, that was a good call. Well, Gamble's back in. Monterre lead it by four. Now, how long will it be before he posts up? Now he's down low, going up against Williamson. Shot clock winding down. And Singlin fouled as he leaves his feet. So two free throws coming for Singlin. Third foul, Timberlake. Who would want to be a coach? Singlin makes both. Back to a six point game. Five and a half minutes remaining. Robertson inside to Williamson. Brings it back to Steinman. And then Steinman kind of lowered his shoulder a little bit into Paulson. Good job by Paulson. Continues to make plays. There's Goron. This Cavish is back in the game as well. Gavishes gets in the lane, hands it off. Konate, easy one. Torrey hands it off to Lajan. Lajan almost has it. Turned over now. Torrey fouled by Paulson. Team foul number four on Nanterre. Oh no, it's on uh, Yaskavishus. It's been a tricky game tonight for Nanterre, but right now uh, they're doing just enough uh, to hold off this upset minded Freeboard team. And Singlin comes up, takes the telegraph pass, lays it up and in. Well, that was just a terrible pass. Timberlake's got to do better than that. Just to turnovers, 19 and 6 for Nanterre, 22 and 10 for Freeboard.
We talked about how this Freeborg team made it through all three qualifying rounds. Rebounding wise, they're doing better now in this fourth quarter. But they made it through all three qualifying rounds. They do have the one win over Opava, uh, but they have three defeats. Will this be their fourth defeat? And if it if it ends up being their fourth defeat, will they crumble? This is a game they probably believe they they could win and maybe should win. Well, that time the tap was there. I think it was Toure just put it too hard up off the towel. And then Paulson left open. Oh boy, you're just asking for trouble by leaving Paulson open. Great find by Konate. Toure looks, puts it up from deep, and gets it right back. Paulson tonight, five of six from three point range. He's got 17 points. And Scavishes his pass to Gamble. They weren't on the same page there. Williamson again. Good D from uh, Paulson, but I think Singlin called for the foul down low. So Singlin picks up his first. That is foul number four on Nanterre. Robertson drives in. Ball goes off of him, Legend. Robinson thought he was going to get some. Well, probably could have gotten a foul called on Gamble. A little bit of contact with the body there. Not too much. Now I think that's a good call, good non-call from the ref. Robinson trying to be aggressive going to the basket. Now the drive and the miss. Konate battling. It'll be Nanterre ball. Still 2.48 remaining. 10 points to lead. Konate from the right. They have just been lights out tonight from deep. It has been something. Uh, to behold for them tonight. I mean, they are just ridiculous. 17 of 31 from deep. Quickly, Yurkovic answers. No, they're 16 of 30 from three point range in Ontario. Good hustle, Toure, but inbounds it to Gamble, and Yaskavishis is going to go up for the two handed jam on the breakaway. He leaked out early. Showing us some hops out of Yaskavishis. Now Williamson. Look at that. We don't get to see Otis go up there for the two handed rim rocker that often, do we? He's doing a little bit of show, showing off. He's got the hops, and Williamson misses the first one. 
I think Freeborg can play hard tonight. They don't need to hang their heads with two minutes remaining. They still got a chance. They got to get some stops and points. Williamson comes out. Jonan comes in. Williamson goes out. Didn't look happy to be coming out. He's got 12 points and nine rebounds. Good night at the office for him. Statistically, anyway, Konate for three. Boy, that ball was on its way down and stayed out. Showing off. And Legend now. Gets it back to Toure. Passes up to three. I think if Toure had to do it all over again, he would have taken that. Clock is definitely the enemy now for Freeborg as Konate goes out. Good night work. Good night's work for him. 12 points. For Konate, four of nine from the floor. He's had a couple of threes, a couple of assists, a couple of rebounds, a couple of steals. Singlin misses from deep. Yurkovic, Robertson for three. And good hustle with the tap in for Yurkovic. Gets it back to a 10 point game. Ontario, I think, more than happy to let some time, uh, let some seconds tick off the clock. Foul called before the shot, but nevertheless, they're in the bonus, so they will go to the free throw line. Both these teams obviously want to get as many points as possible. Never know how goal differential works out, but Yurkovic fouls out here at the very end with 28 seconds remaining. Will this be a game uh, to get Nanterre on track in the Basketball Champions League? Well, they're improving to two and three tonight. And as we spoke about before the game, uh, coming into this one, you know, they were, they just want to get into that top four. That's what you need to do if you're going to get into the playoffs. And there's a long way to go, but game day five. After this, you know they're gonna they're gonna have a little bit better position. John draws the foul, so he will go to the line. Got the foul called on Waters. So Nanterre were one in, both of the teams were one and three. So Opava have lost tonight. They're already one and four. So Nanterre will climb above them. Holon have lost tonight at Tenerife. So they're now three and two. And it's just one of two. But Toure pump fake puts it up and in. So it's a three point trip down the floor. Now Legend called for the foul, so two free throws coming. So Bone lost tonight. So they're now two and three. So that helps 
as well, Nanterre. And Opava lost, but Pauk won. So Pauk have improved to two and three. So, yeah, a lot of, uh, lot of basketball still to be played. And the Nanterre at least have protected the home court tonight. And Lajan gets in, and another foul called. They just don't want it to end, do they? So Imlajan makes the first, and Fribourg will end up trailing now by nine, and Carne is going to launch one, presumably. A three. Well, it was close. He had a chance, but Karn misses. And Nanterre hold on for a 96-87 win over Fribourg Olympic. Those are the numbers. I mean, look at the threes. 16 three-pointers. That's 10 more than Nanterre made. Freeborg had four at halftime. Freeborg actually won the rebounding battle, but then again, they had more misses, perhaps, uh, to rebound. Now, they did a good job on the boards. Freeborg turned it over 12 times. Singlin, the, the 19 for Nanterre. Touré finished with a game high 21 in defeat. Gamble and Invernizzi with 17 points each. And Lajan 17, Jurkovic 15. I mean, for me, the player of the game. It, yeah, I agree. Julian Gamble has just been called the MVP of the game. He wasn't part of that three-point shooting brigade, but boy, when when they took over in that third quarter, Julian Gamble's presence was known. And he finished, again, statistically tonight, uh, an impressive 17 points, nine rebounds, two steals, and a block, plus 23 efficiency. Now, Babacar Toure, had 21 points, 11 rebounds, a block and a steal, and was plus 27. But I think Gamble, I think he was the most dominant player on the floor tonight at, at the important times. And the other thing is, uh, when you consider Nanterre, from their three-point shooting standpoint, Paulson finished five of six from deep. Hugo and Vernizzi cooled off a little bit in the second half, but he was five of nine. So those two guys together, 10 of 15 from three-point range. So they had 10 of Nanterre's 16 three-pointers, and then Conate and Singlin each drilled a couple of threes as well, as did Yuskavishis. So that was uh, something really that this Freeborg team did not have an answer to tonight. And on top of that, Nanterre uh, took care of business at the free throw line, where they were 18 of 21. Freeborg, in fairness to them, did a good job at the free throw line, making 19 of 23. And they took care of business on the boards, except in that third quarter when Gamble really kind of dominated all aspects of the game. So both these teams will be back in action next week in the Basketball Champions League. Nanterre will be hitting the road for a very difficult game at Umana Raya Venezia. And Freeborg will have to go to Greece to Thessaloniki to take on Pauk. 
Remember, Pauk and Umana Raya Venezia uh, were winners tonight. Pauk winning their game in the Czech Republic at Opava 94 to 69. And Umana Raya Venezia, they had some difficult moments tonight, uh, but they won 94 to 84 at Telecom Baskets Bonn. Um, So that was a that was a tough one, and we saw the great Gaspar Vidmar for Minor Arvanesia have a big night tonight. Uh, 18 points and six rebounds. So good to see him getting in the flow. The former Banvit hero. We got a lot of action coming up tomorrow night, folks. But here are the Group B standings now. Uh, so Beristar Tenerife flying high, uh, unbeaten. They won tonight big over Holon. And uh, Holland's still in third place. Venezia in second after their win, four and one. And then you've got a couple of two and three teams, Bonn and Pauk, as well as, well, Nanterre have actually improved to two and three as well. So that wasn't up there. Thanks for watching.